Newborn screening is a very important part of the first few days of a new baby's life. A simple blood test performed on your baby can tell us if there are certain rare medical disorders present. If any problems are found, your baby can then receive the best possible treatment. Babies who are found to have a disorder can look perfectly normal, just like this baby who has congenital hypothyroidism, which is easily treated. This is James. He has a disorder called PKU. His parents keep him well by giving him a special formula as well as other foods, and he's growing up a normal, healthy child. The newborn screening test is an important test for your baby. It is free and part of the normal care of newborn babies in Australia. Screening is strongly recommended, as one baby in every thousand has a disorder which needs early diagnosis to avoid problems. Newborn screening may be discussed with you in either prenatal classes or after the baby is born or in both places. You'll be given the information pamphlet called Tests to Protect Your Baby which you should read. Your midwife will then discuss the content with you and answer any questions you may have. If you have any concerns about the test, speak to your doctor or midwife who would be willing to help you with any questions that you have. The midwife who's going to take your baby's blood sample will ask you if you want to have your baby tested. Some hospitals ask you to consent verbally to the test, whereas others may also ask you to sign a consent form. The New South Wales Newborn Screening Program tests for more than 30 disorders, all of which can be treated. A few of these disorders will be discussed in this video, but other disorders can be either read about in the pamphlet you've been given, or you could visit our website for further information. The test only needs a few drops of blood taken from the baby's heel and collected onto a special sample card. This happens shortly before you and your baby leave hospital or when your baby is about two to three days old. If you are not sure if your baby has had the test, please ask your midwife or doctor. The sample is then dried and sent to the laboratory. If your baby's results are normal, you are not contacted. Sometimes the test result is unclear, the sample is unsuitable to test, or in a few cases there is an abnormal result. This means that a few babies will need to have a second blood test, and some babies a urine test as well. Your doctor will be advised of the second test result, which is usually normal. You can always call the Newborn Screening Laboratory if you have any questions about a second newborn screening test. Your midwife will give you the contact number. In a small number of babies, the second blood test will be abnormal and you'll be asked to visit a paediatrician. All disorders tested can be treated with either medication and or a special diet. Amongst the 30 disorders tested for are phenylketonuria or PKU, congenital hypothyroidism, cystic fibrosis, galactosemia and other rare disorders of protein and fat metabolism. Each year in Australia there are 250,000 babies born and about 250 babies are found to have a disorder. Each year in New South Wales and the ACT there are 92,000 babies born and about 90 babies are found to have a disorder. Let's take a closer look at some of these disorders. Some of these children have PKU, are on treatment and live perfectly normal lives. Well, let's talk about phenylketonuria, or PKU, what we normally call it. So this is a really quite uncommon disorder. What happens is that phenylalanine, which is one of the building blocks of protein, builds up in the tissues. And if we don't do something about it, that causes the brain not to develop properly. PKU was one of the very, well, was the very first disorder that was ever screened for in newborn babies back in the 1960s. The treatment 
is very simple. If we treat the child, then the child develops really normally. Treatment is by a special diet. The baby can continue to be breastfed or it can be bottle fed, but it has to take a special formula every day. And when this baby grows up and starts solids, they won't be able to eat very high protein foods like meat, fish, eggs, etc. But the special formula takes care of that. So what's really great news is that we expect babies with PKU detected by newborn screening to grow up really perfectly normal and healthy. They'll develop well and everything will be fine. Caitlin is a dancer and is one of the best Irish dancers in Australia. When we first found out that Caitlin had PKU, it was a bit of a scary time. Um, but we got a lot of support from the people at the hospital. Um, and it was great to meet other families of children who had healthy children that were getting on with life. It meant coming to terms with a new diet um, and a different regime for food and, and lifestyle. Uh, but that was a very small price to pay for a very happy and healthy kid that's getting on with life. Hi, my name's Chelsea. I'm 18 years old and I have PKU. My PKU has never stopped me doing anything. At school, I was a prefect. I played all the sports and I even went on camps with them. Sure, it was a little bit difficult to um, take all of my mixture and, and my special food, but I did it. It was fine. And all of the girls just treated me like one of their own. Um, I, I love sport. I have never let PKU dictate what sport I play. I've been on soccer camps, I've, I've been on athletics camps and nothing's ever ever stopped me. So now let's talk about another disorder we detect early, congenital hypothyroidism. Congenital hypothyroidism is what happens when a, a baby either lacks a thyroid gland or the thyroid gland doesn't work properly. Now the thyroid gland is here in our necks and it produces a hormone, thyroxine. So babies with congenital hypothyroidism have a lack of this hormone. That thyroxine is needed for normal growth and development. But because we can pick these babies up early, we can fix all that and we can treat them. The treatment is really easy. They need a very small dose of thyroxine every day and they then grow normally. The young man in this picture is 23 years old. There was no newborn screening in his country when he was born. He was found to have congenital hypothyroidism later in life and is both intellectually disabled and growth retarded. If screening had been available and treatment started, he would have developed normally. The newborn screening program tests for at least 30 other disorders, but we don't have time to go through them all. Peter has a very rare disorder affecting what we call the urea cycle. But he's keeping so well taking his medication and being careful with his diet. Well, going to parties, I mean, you know, there's all those different types of party foods and things like that. Um, you know, the little party pies and sausage rolls and things. But, and hot um, chips. And, oh, and hot chips, which you like to eat sometimes, don't you? With muscles. But it's at Joseph's party. That's right, you're going to a party on Thursday. Yeah, and you're hoping there'll be hot chips After there. After school. <laughs> but um, with regards to those sorts of foods, you know, he has been curious. He was curious in the beginning, and, you know, we basically explained to him, look, Peter, they're foods that, you know, you can't have. They're foods that Dr Bridget has said, you know, you can't have. And he's fine with that. So, you know, if we go somewhere and he sees foods that he's not familiar with, he'll say, Mum, did Dr Bridget say I can have that? And we'll say either yes or no, and that's that. So, and he's fine with that, aren't you? Yeah. After all the tests have been completed, the samples are stored securely for a period of time. The current information pamphlet will mention the storage time. A sample may be used for further testing at the parent's request to provide new medical information for the family 
for normal quality control practices within the laboratory and any ethics committee approved research. The New South Wales Newborn Screening Laboratory will not perform any further tests on any blood sample without the written consent from both parents. We hope this video has helped you understand about newborn screening and the importance of having your baby tested. If you have any worries, please ask either your midwife or paediatrician or telephone the Newborn Screening Laboratory. Our concern is to make sure that your baby will be as healthy as possible. If a disorder is found, early treatment will give your baby the best chance for a long and healthy life.